Happy New Year again, even though we are way into 2019 already. Uh, but it's a time for even more reflection. And I'd like to start with talking about public conversation. You know, these days, it's almost stressful, frightening to see public conversation. All kinds of insults being thrown from one person to the other, us versus them, um, your people, my people, slurs, ethnic epithets, all kinds of things. Do you ever pause to ask yourself, why? Why? You know, none is the child of a lesser God. We are actually all the same. Our common humanity is the thing that defines us. But it profits many people to get us on one side or the other in a way that we don't even try to reason. Now this triumph of unreason, this being a season of unreason, a crystal of stress. So imagine that we didn't allow ourselves to get sucked in into this vortex of unreason. Imagine that we tried to put some distance between the emotion of the moment and try to rigorously discuss issues. Imagine that society could find better answers and could be led in a different direction. Imagine how the quality of life that we all live I know that it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, the world over, there's madness. Only conversation in America has gone to the dogs. Fake news. This person is base. That other person is base. Polarized, divided America. So who's learning from who? We're all sucked into that whole mess. And look at Britain. Can't decide whether they want to be in Europe, not in Europe. Brexit, no Brexit. It's a world in turmoil. We are all lacking leadership. But we have to be the very objects of pity by literally qualifying most of us to go to the International Criminal Court because of the environment that we are creating in the name of politics. Politics which is bringing so little progress. <laughs> no wonder the CBL annual lecture 2019 ask the question, is democracy making life better in Africa? That's a very important question. Is it really a democracy what we have in many African countries? Does this democracy really feel for the people, the real ordinary people rather than a group involved in legal plunder that have captured the state and therefore in the name of the people are plundering the commonwealth. Ah, <sighs> trouble times. But we have a duty because we are citizens, we are people. But we don't execute on that duty by insulting one another, getting involved in conversations that we don't have enough knowledge or information about. Instead of spending more time learning and getting ourselves ready, to make a difference that works for all. Change the tone. I'll see you next time.